I've heard a lot of things about how that people created faceless channels, generated them with certain apps, and at the point, YouTube will just stop. <laughs> you can't monetize this. And YouTube will have to send them several messages telling them to either the voice is not original or some content is not original or something is insensitive. And I've had friends even who had to abandon sadly their youtube channel after a while because it became a lot of hassle because what is the need walking in and out and of course you know that content creation is not a joke right months and years and then you can't monetize it so most of them just abandoned it and opened another channel and started the grind from the beginning so you need to not make these mistakes and that is why i have curated these seven apps or rather these seven ai tools and the best part they are free that you can use right now in the last two weeks i have created two not one two faceless youtube channels to try out these things and oh my god my team can testify my children can testify my husband can testify and i cannot hide it from you because this is the gag we don't get to keep anything here as always Number one ultimate tool that I will recommend, I'm going to take it in the order with which we used it to create, okay? So number one thing we did was, okay, let's write a story. Now, I sat down with my daughter and I was like, we need to create a folktale, you know, sort of video. So the first thing, trust my girl to come through. She was like, okay, let her go write. I said, no, hold up. We can actually voice it. So I just put on my phone audio and told her to tell a story right we did it together i my husband her and all my others her other siblings so she told this whole story and i was like oh my god but possibly she read it from a book some part of it or a movie i don't know i didn't ask she told this story which will be recorded next thing we headed up to this the first ai tool which is alter.ai i still haven't found i know that google is coming up with something about google cloud or something or is, is it called something like that but i haven't still found a better audio to text AI tool than Otter. So until then, Otter is where we went to. And of course, all where I did was just put it on my laptop and then put the audio and then it played. Of course, it's not going to be accurate. So you have to go back because sometimes our accent is not exactly the accent that, you know, that they use for the machine learning for the AI. So you might not be able to understand what that is. So you have to go back and impute the right thing, you know, add a few things here and there. If there are any, any places that you did not complete the story, you go and you know, finish it up because you're listening to the story. It's just to make your work faster. You will have to go back to, to complete the places that it may not have picked at all and all of that. Alter AI is a meeting app that can help you translate your meetings, anything audio. As long as it's hearing voices, it's going to be typing them like your secretary. Yes, it's going to be typing them. Alter.ai. And then when we got that done, my daughter was just looking, my children were just looking because I said this holiday, we're not playing because we are an immensely creative family. But if you don't curate it to make it look like a normal school, structure it, you know, we can all just be playing and then we don't achieve anything for the next six weeks and then they go back to school. And you know, girl, you know, guy, that school is not the only thing they came here to do. Okay. So we need to have monetizable skills. Okay. And from when they are children. And I'm not playing about that. So Autumn was the first one we used. Now we went ahead and said, okay, so next point, now that we have the script, we have to edit it. So we, of course, when you have an editor mama, what do you expect? So first of all, we went and then, you know, put it on a word processing document on MS Word. And then, you know, I edited it here and there, a few things, the name she used, we had to change it. Then I, I thought, Hmm. Let's expand the story a bit more. So describe the characters a bit more. So we headed off to the second AI tool I'm going to tell you. Of course, the almighty ChatGPT. So we went to ChatGPT, the free version, of course. And then we put it in the story. But this was my prompt. I said... Right? And this was the prompt that we used. Then I now added the story that we had already transcribed and edited, you know, to fit. And ChatGPT produced a more exuberant, added all those adjectives and stuff. And when it was done, I copied it, put it back on Microsoft Word, processed the word further because you know me. So now it has suggested names for the actors, places, names of the village. I looked at the name again, decided to change a few things, the name of the village, the name of the place, all of that. 
and then we remove some of the adjectives, change them to something because she's going to voice it. So we change a few of the words, you know, to words that she can pronounce easily and all of that. And then when we are good to go, our skip to was now on a hundred. The next place we went was where uh -oh. we had to now sit down on the script or so and then highlighted on the story one after the other all the parts of the of the story that we need to develop pictures for because remember we are creating a faceless youtube channel so we highlighted all of that it came to about um 15 we needed about 15 key key pictures of course we're gonna have others also added with that we headed off i think we all actually decided on the 15 because we were looking at our third ai tool and the limitation it has for the free version for the for a day so with that we headed up to the third ai version which is the image generator called copilot copilot image generator we went right there started creating the prompt oh my husband is an expert at this he didn't just take from the story he took as a, the story as a context, the ones we highlighted, the parts of the story and the actions and activities in the story. And then he went back to ChatGPT and expanded them the more so that the features of the characters can come to play and the scene. And of course, we had things like a white shot, generate a white shot, an image of this or an, an eye view, an image of that, you know, all of that spec. Because one thing you want to do for yourself is to learn how to use appropriate prompts. If you're ever going to use AI, because it has come to be, you need to learn how to use it like a pro. Okay, and please don't join the lazy gang who don't do anything about AI images and AI scripts and they just go and use it. No, no, don't do that. So when we're done, we now use this co-pilot image generator to generate all of the pictures. It will usually give you four different pictures per prompt. So you choose the best one that depicts the image of what you want. And oh my gosh, amazing. Especially when you're querying things about folktale, African people, braids and cara, you know, traditional wedding. Oh gosh, it was, the pictures were breathtaking. I need to show you some. Okay, let me show you some of the things that we generated. Okay, so you can see, breathtaking pictures. And I just thought, I told my children, okay, at this point, I mean, we are in, in app number three, right? But I told my children, so at this point, you can actually stop here and take any of these pictures, slam your name on them. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Frame them, make them bigger, frame them and sell them as art. Yes, it is your brain power. It is you who prompted this to create this amazing thing. So you can actually sell them. And I said, you remember those ads you see in hotels and stuff? And the good thing is with Copilot, you can ask it to create it like an anime, like a cartoon, like a realistic human image, like a painting. You can make you can make a picture like a painting. You can make, I mean, any kind of image you want. As long as it's a picture, an image, you can create it. And oh my god, and you can even create really unrealistic things like a buffalo riding a bicycle, stuff like that. So what are you waiting for? And I told my children right there that at this point, you can decide to sell art, make beautiful art, frame them, and put them up for sale. That's one price point. Remember, and I didn't forget to tell them even at the beginning, you can easily generate stories for people, write amazing stories for people, and then you beef it up with ChatGPT, edit it properly, add your own spec, and make an original story that you can also sell. For somebody who wants to write a book, who wants to write stories or prompts, See, the opportunities in this age is amazing. I don't know what you're waiting for if you have not started. Especially people in our age group who are still all looking at all of these things. Please, you need to get into the, you know, jump into the bandwagon because, yeah. And I have another video I'm going to make on this post about if you're 40 and above, why you should do certain things now. I will do that video later. But then we go to AI number four. When we are done with images and all, I needed to make a YouTube thumbnail using one of the energies, you know, to write stuff and all that. And of course, I went back to our Canva. I've been using Canva now for seven years and I have seen the transition. Right now, there's nothing you can do on Canva. The AI on Canva is also crazy. It's mad. It's... <sighs> Every day I say, thank God for these people, human beings who are behind these tools. So since I can't create them, I must as well, you know, make good use of consuming them, <laughs> using them right. Okay. So we did the thumbnail with Canva. And you know that with a Canva, you can create a website that is live. Live, even without a domain name, you can create a website that is live. You can design 
anything, anything, merch, whatever. There's nothing you cannot design, book covers, in a, inside of your book, everything you can create on Canva. Now, when we were done with that, we now looked at it and was like, mm, mind you, before that time, I was just thinking, um, which song are we going to use on the background? You know, all of that whole thing about copyright music and the rest. And then we thought, hmm, there's an AI tool we know called Suno. My husband is a musician, so he loves it. And he's like, we can create music with the lyrics of this story. So that way it's custom made. <laughs> this part was so sweet. I'm like, geez, custom made song for your custom made video, faceless video. You know when you watch movies now, most of these movies get licenses or they create original songs. And so all those songs become even standalone and then blow. And I'm like, wait, you know, creating a music and thinking to yourself like, so who becomes the artist? So you're the artist. Like really, you know, with you is free. So you can actually also make income by producing different songs, having a, a music library where people can pay a token and download and don't have copyright issues. Another income stream. And I'm not, I've not even gotten to the end of the product. Guys, Suno.ai, you can create your own beats. You can create your, choose your own genre. Use the, put your own lyrics and, oh, God. And use the voice that you want to create the music. Amazing. Amazing, guys. See, my mind is blown. My ears, my mother was saying, I'm happy that I'm alive in this generation. And that's the truth. Then, of course, before all of this, before we started to record the voice and off guard, there's a part that I miss in the process, but not in the app. When, of course, we were done with that whole story, my daughter and I had to voice the whole story by herself. We paced her, thought I had to do it, and she paced her tone properly in a way that people can hear. And, of course, we put it all up nicely in a way that she can read it, and it was amazing. So we kept it aside. We used my phone recorder. We put it aside because that's going to be the voice narrating the story on the channel. Now, we went to CapCut, guys. We went to CapCut. CapCut is a video editing app. I know, I'm sure you know CapCut, but then it has a beautiful AI, you know, editing feature, but that's not even where we're going to. On CapCut, you can put stock titles. Yes. You just choose your auto top titles and then you have a subtitle for this story for audiences on YouTube who may not understand your accent, your English accent, they can as well just read it. And the thing with the auto uh, caption, you can actually edit in case it missed one or two words and didn't get them as usual, which is why I said AI is something you must assist. We went there, edited it and it was boom, fantastic. When we were done, I was like, oh my God, see our creation. You know, then this final app I want to tell you about was an alternative to this process that we have done. But before we started the voicing and generating and all of that, we had asked ourselves that let's not use an AI to generate the video. And that what brought us back to this other app, InVideo app. InVideo app is an amazing app, okay? On the free version, you will have things like, uh, you know, watermark on your video and all of that. But InVideo app is another app you can use to create you create your your lyrics or your story put it up there and it generates the video for you but you have to have the paid version to really enjoy it because you, with the paid version you can even clone your voice and your voice can be the one now doing the actual narration and all of that so in video ai is crazy but there are some there's some time of the day like 11 12 i think for everything ai you know if you're in nigeria like me that you try to use all these ai apps and then you'll be on the queue for a long time i say that's the time that americans are awake americans hi you guys are <laughs> you guys are the bomb okay and that is how i think you should go through if you want to create a faceless video for YouTube and start a faceless YouTube channel. And then why should you check even start a faceless YouTube channel? The first one I started was about news and trends. Hmm. I learned it from someone also on YouTube, how you can actually use in-video AI to just copy a link from the trending news. And there's a way to find out what is trending. You know, I can do all of that in another video, show you guys how to do all of that. Paste it on in-video in AI. You don't have to write a script. And then it will generate the videos for you in maybe one minute or one minute plus. And then I used that to create the channel. And one of the videos in 24 hours got to 100 and something views. A new channel that has not been indexed, nothing. You haven't even put anything on it. And I'm like, oh, girl, there's something here. See, 
there are massive opportunities. I'm going to do another video on that aspect. But this is how we created a faceless YouTube channel. And this can change your life. Because right now, we just created a few of the faceless videos. And we want it to be something that my children can go on and do. So we are all taking the process one by one. And it will amaze you that this is something that we don't want to back down on. And this is something you can actually also do. This can change your whole life. Whether you're working a 9 to 5, find a, just a few hours you know, or even a day to create one video every day. And post once every week. And start your journey of content creation. Content creation has a lot of variants. And you can choose the one that is more, most convenient for you. Okay, and I also understand like me, if I was the one to do all of the process, I may not have been able to go through. I'm very good with the story, editing it, and maybe generating the images. But then I won't have been able to generate the images as effectively as my husband did. Because I also very I have very um low threshold for sitting down for a long time and trying something over and over again sometimes the prompt if you don't know when you're using ai there are certain images or even text you cannot generate things that contravene of course life you know human rights like you can't ask you to generate somebody with a knife hitting someone somebody putting somebody in the fire somebody beating somebody up somebody punishing somebody and kneeling down and closing their eyes all of this is doing nigeria no ai will not generate it for you so there's some things you also need to know i think i should also do another video on how to use ai ethically hmm. i've gotten two videos here i'm gonna write them down so i don't forget video ideas here doing this channel so but what it is is that this can change your life and i want to see you try it Okay, let me end here and ask you in the comment section, which of these have you used? Do you have a faceless channel or have you done any content that you have to use any of these tools? How did you find them? Please tell your testimony below in the gang, we do this for each other so that my gang can go try it and know that I'm not here for any BS. Okay, I love you. Take care of yourself and until I come your way again, go make money because you need it even for the gossip. <laughs> yes, you heard it right. Bye.